Hi, my name is Christina with eatingonadime.com. We have the link below that'll show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to cut up pineapple that I'm gonna show you today as well. So buying fresh whole pineapple is actually cheaper than buying the pre-cut stuff at the store. I know the pre-cut stuff can be very intimidating because it's very convenient, but if you're looking to cut down on your grocery budget, I definitely recommend buying whole fruits and cutting it yourself, and I promise it's not hard to do. I love using just a big knife to cut a pineapple. We're big believers that you only really need one good quality knife in your kitchen, and this is the one that we recommend. We will, I'll put a link below so that you can get this knife as well if you're looking for a good quality knife. Also, you're gonna need a good size cutting board. This works perfect. I just grabbed my biggest one. You just wanna make sure that it's enough for the pineapple to lay out flat on, and then we're ready to go. First up, lay the pineapple just on its side on the cutting boards, and we're gonna cut off the top and the bottom of the pineapple. I always do the top first just to get rid of it because it can be kind of clunky. We have a sink, or I have a sink here, so I'm just gonna throw in the trash in that. It's always good to have a trash can nearby or a sink just so you can easily discard of your um, trash portions. Then you wanna put your pineapple cut side down on your cutting board, and we're gonna cut off the skin of the pineapple. You just wanna follow the shape of the pineapple. I try to get to as close as the edge as possible, just so I can have as much pineapple to eat as possible. And you just wanna follow the shape of it and cut off that skin. Once all the skin's removed, you wanna cut it in half lengthwise. Just keep it cut side down on your cutting board and just cut it straight in half down the center of the pineapple. Then take the two halves and lay them out cut side down on the cutting board and then cut each of those halves in half as well. Then we're going to remove the core. I like to stand it on the end and just so you can kind of see there how it's a different coloration. That's the core of the pineapple. So you just run your knife straight down before that and it'll just remove that core from the pineapple. And it is a little tougher, so you can kind of feel it with the knife as well. So you just wanna do that to each of the quarters and just to get that tough core removed. Be careful not to cut your finger. You can also do it on this side. I'll show you that next. If you cut it on this side, you do wanna cut it at an angle to make sure that you get it all removed. So just cut it at an angle right there and it'll remove it as well. I like the straight up and down one myself. Then all you have left to do is to dice up these quarters without the core or with the core removed. And you just wanna dice them up into whatever size that you like for bite sized pieces. I always just take it and then slice them long ways, whoops, and then hold them together and dice them this way for quick dicing. That's it, then it's ready to eat and enjoy. Mm. Perfect every time. I always refrigerate mine after I'm done cutting it. It will last up to a week. It usually just lasts a couple of hours in my house because everybody loves fresh pineapples so much. It's gonna be best if you eat it within three to four days. Make sure you store it in an airtight sealed container in your refrigerator and you should be good to go. See, not hard at all, I promise. It works every single time. My 10 year old, I've taught her how to do this and she loves it and she does it every single time for us because it is that easy. So save money, get the whole pineapple and enjoy.
thank you guys so much for joining me today. Do not forget, we have the link in the description so you can see the step-by-step -step instructions every time you're cutting your fresh pineapple. Bye friends, I will see you guys next time.